pie. Today we are going to be doing a dish with this fantastic fresh rainbow trout. Look how fresh that is. Look at that eye and it's still prominent. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do a gravid lax, that classic Swedish way of preserving salmon. But obviously we're not going to use salmon. For a change we're going to use trout. So I've got this beautiful trout. First thing I'm going to do is take the fillets off. So just past the head, take it all the way along in one movement and there you have one fillet. Get this one started. Stay on the board you little beauty. There you have two fillet. Save that for some stock. Next we need to clean these fillets up. So all we do is trim off what was the backbone, where the fins were. So just gently take your knife all the way along. And the beauty of this dish is it doesn't take no cooking. It's a curing process. So about three to four days in the fridge and you've got yourself a seriously, seriously cool product. So I'll just take that belly flap off then, just following that bone. And we'll have two nice clean fillets. Square that tail up just like that. There's the one. Not looking too bad if I say so myself. And then the same with this side. As you can see we've got two beautiful fillets there. Now along this lateral line you've got all your pin bones so just go along with your tweezers just pull them out because we don't want no bones in this so just feel along with your finger and you'll see them and just pull them all out. That's that side done few left there so that's one way of doing it another way is there's our line of bones just make a v-cut as you can see I'm exposing those bones there and then just V into it from the other side right down to the skin then they just pull out in one go and there you have it two pin boned fillets of trout okay now we get to the fun bit there's our two prepared fillets of trout skin on get rid of those few bits and bobs now we are going to prepare the cure so here I have got a hundred grams of demerara sugar you can use just brown sugar or caster sugar and I've got 75 grams of sea salt which is obviously that is the main ingredient for the cure to draw out all the moisture and then we're just going to add some flavors then so we give them up a mix and the predominant flavor in Gravilax is dill so a nice good bunch of dill chopped up nice and fine Okay, now we come to the fun bit. Now if you've got a tray big enough to take those, use a tray. You don't want to use a metal tray, obviously. You don't want it to react with the salt. So what I just tend to do to make it easy, piece of cardboard, covered in cling film, sprinkle just a little bit on the bottom. A lovely salt and sugar mix. I'm just going to put a bit of dill on there because obviously this is where the skin is going to lay on this because we're just going to put one fillet skin side down now we can really start to go to town so we'll get some of the salt and sugar mix on there get it all over add some of the dill the zest of a lemon Obviously, you know, don't use it all because we're going to use the other half when we put the other one on top. Like that. Beautiful. And then this crazy stuff. Some grated B12. 
beetroot will give it a lovely lovely red color so when you cut into it it'll have a lovely tip of redness and all that beautiful orange underneath so I've got one there I'm just gonna put that on top get it all mixed in and what I've got left I shall when I sandwich them together put it on the top so there's the one done to that you can add snaps I'm just going to add a bit of gin you can add vodka whatever floats your boat baby so that other one on top all we do now is we dress the top the same as the bottom so sugar and it all on the dill and like I said you don't need to cook this all you do is wrap that in cling film put another sheet of cardboard on top or if you're in a tray you know plank of wood some weights and tins or a couple of bricks wrapped in foil and then you leave it in your fridge for a minimum of three days and then what you do every day is you turn it I think that's looking pretty cool it's all on finish off with that salt bit more of the old lemon so use the lemon juice as well Put lemon juice on a bit more gin why not So there's our lovely fish ready to go into the fridge. So what I'm going to do then is just wrap that over with cling film a few times. So there's my little beauty then, all cocooned up, all wrapped. So I'm just going to put that other piece of cardboard on the top. Then I'm just going to put some weights in, like I said, in the fridge, three days, every day. Just turn it over so all the juices redistribute. Turn it over, minimum of three days, and then we'll have a look at it. Mm okay right this beauty has been in the fridge for four days and what I've done I put it in the tray obviously because it's leached out loads of liquor and I didn't want although we've wrapped it several times in cling film on the card you know it's still leaching out but that's been four days you can see all that juice that is what it's all about extracting all that moisture and then you should be left with this lovely parcel it's like the coolest game of pass the parcel you know where everybody's a winner so all we're gonna do get our fish just gonna scrape off all those ingredients and that beetroot I use it had no flavoring properties it was just purely for color and you'll see why when we slice into it so I'm just gonna scrape these off Pat them dry and we'll have a good look. Right, what we're going to do now is just going to take it off the skin. And you can tell these are done because the texture has changed. They become really, really firm. So you want to try and take the skin off in one go. And that, like leather, make a nice belt for some uh, dude by just a cut by the tail and basically you let your knife just sit there if you just wiggle the skin with your nice sharp knife comes off one piece I'm just going to square this up and we'll slice it look fantastic like I said the beetroot's only there for colour it wouldn't add flavour because what I'm after is when you cut it, I want a nice tinge just to the edge of the fish. Let's just have a go. That's what I'm after. You can see there. Beautiful thin slices. That lovely tinge of red round the top. Just adds a bit of je ne sais quoi. 
feeling French today, just been to the French market. Oh, he haw. And that is what we want. If you have a look there, how nice. Mmm. Tastes really good too. Well there you have it, there's the finished product and what a fantastic looking thing that is and you can see that lovely red tinge from that beetroot which was there purely to colour I mean this is a prime product, this is fantastic and give it a go, you know it's that simple, no cooking involved you know we cured it, we wrapped it turned it daily to redistribute all those juices and after four days you slice it and you get this and it really is beautiful, you know and I turn that mm. Mm. Humble, humble trout into this fantastic dish so please give it a go thanks for watching